guys and welcome back. So for today's video, I am doing my January hits and misses and I actually think that I had no misses. I believe it was all hits, which is an amazing month for me. So I'm super excited to share with you all of these products that I have been enjoying this month. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, just go ahead and hit that button down below so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. And if you want to see what my favorites were for this month, let's just go ahead and jump right in. All right, so my first favorites for this month is actually two skincare products and they are both by Bosha. So the first one is this Bosha Restorative Night Moisturizing Cream. And I love this stuff because if you guys don't know, I have a very oily T-zone and I have very dry cheeks though. So I feel like this moisturizer is the right amount of moisture for my face, not to make me too oily like some do, but help really give my dry areas that hydration that it needs. So when I wake up in the morning, since it's a night mask, my skin feels so hydrated and just ready for a full face of makeup. I feel like ever since using this that my skin looks better, it looks like it has more hydration to it, and my makeup just sits so much better on my face. Alright, so my next favorite from the same brand, and I really hope I pronounce this right because I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. But it is the Wakami Firming Hydro Gel Mask. And it is one of those sheet masks. But it's not like your normal sheet mask. It is an actual like gel mask. And it sits on for about 15 to 20 minutes. And I agree with everything that it says. It is a firming mask. When this comes off my face, my skin feels so much tighter and so much firmer and brighter. And I think that these two pair together are absolutely Amazing. I love to put this on and then go in right after and put this on and I think they are a great combo and I've helped my skin so much. Alright, so moving on to makeup. My first favorite is the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer and I have mine in the shade Light. And I had heard so many great things about this but just had never tried it. So once I finally got a hold of it, I feel like there's no going back. I love the fact that they have tinted ones, so when I put it on my eyelids, I have very veiny eyelids. So this covers it up, gives my eyeshadow a nice base, helps lock it in all day, especially because I have oily eyelids. So I really like this, and I think it just helps make my eyeshadow look amazing and bright, and like I just applied it throughout the whole day. Alright, so I have two foundation favorites, and I tested these both out on my channel, so I will leave those videos down below so that you can check them out and kind of see how they wore throughout the day and see my thoughts about them throughout the whole process. So the first one is the NARS Natural Radiant Long Wearing Foundation, and I was super kind of nervous, but yet excited to try this when it first came out because, of course, the word radiant scares us oily girls. But to be honest, a lot of radiant foundations have been amazing for us, especially once you set them with the powder. They are locked in for that whole day. And this looked absolutely flawless on my skin once I had it on, had concealer on, had powder on. It did not budge. It looked absolutely amazing. I barely had any shine come through. I had just a little bit on my nose, but nothing that couldn't be blotted and then powder put back on. But it makes it look like skin. My skin looked absolutely smooth in this, and I think it is a great foundation. The only thing is just be careful because it does oxidize a little bit, so just keep that in mind, but it's not that big of a deal to me. But I absolutely love this foundation and you guys will continue to see me use it on my channel. Alright, my next favorite I really didn't get to use until about the last week of January. But I still wanted to mention it and I will probably mention it next month as well. But it is the Tarte Shape Tape Matte Foundation. And let me just say how much I love this foundation. I love the concealer to begin with and them creating this was absolutely amazing. 
I love having a matte finish, especially with having oily skin. And this is the perfect matte finish that looks the most natural that you can have. Because sometimes they can get cakey, and especially with me, I tend to have buildup right here in the crease of my nose where that oil tends to sit. And I did not have a problem with this. I feel like it look, makes my face look so smooth, so natural. I think it is amazing, and especially using it with the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation is a match mate in heaven. All right, so my next favorite is this Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions palette, and this palette I think is absolutely gorgeous. I think they did an amazing job on this. I think it gives you the perfect amount of shades. I think it is great, especially for traveling with how compact it is, but all in all, these shades are so creamy and so pigmented. I'll swatch a few for you, especially the shimmers so you guys can see. I enjoy creating looks with this so much. Every time I have this on my eyes, I get so many compliments on it. And you can just see how gorgeous they are. The only thing I have to say is I was kind of iffy at first applying these shimmer shades with my finger, but once I got it down, I truly think that that was the best way to apply them because it made them so pigmented and so bright. I feel like using a brush just kind of took that away and didn't really give you the effect that you needed from that shade. But all in all, these blend amazing, they're creamy, they look great on the eyes, and I think you can make so many great looks with this. All right, so I have another eyeshadow palette that was my favorite this month, and it is the Morphe Dare to Create 39A. And when I got this in the mail, I was so excited to play with this because I'm just going to show you guys. Look at how gorgeous that is. I think everything about this palette is amazing. And anytime someone asks me what eyeshadow palette they should get, I have been recommending this one like Crazy. I think it is great for beginners. It gives you such a wide range of shades to play with. If you want to dip into more of your bright shades between the mauves and the blues and the greens, or even if you want to stay more neutral with your looks, you have that options here. I love this row right here because they can be used for bronzer or contour, and they are even amazing because I feel like you have a transition shade for so many skin tones right here. So I think everything about this palette is amazing and if you are going to buy any palette, I highly recommend this one. So my next favorite is the Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour Lash Extension Mascara. And not only is this an amazing mascara, but it is amazing on the price. It was $5 at Ulta, which I think is great considering what you're getting from this mascara. I'm going to show you guys the wand. It is a nice tiny wand which makes it great for your bottom lashes as well. But the reason I love this mascara so much is because on days that I'm running late or I don't want to do a full face of makeup with false lashes, I have found myself reaching for this because it really just extends those eyelashes, makes them look long and full without making them clumped and dried up. So I had a favorite pair of false lashes this month, and it is the Ilore Lengthening Eyelashes in 115, and this is what they look like. I especially love these for work because I want a full pair of lashes, but I don't want them too full to where they kind of weigh my eyes down at work. So I think these give me the perfect amount of natural and full to make my eyes look nice and open and bright throughout the day. All right, so I finally went and bought my first Anastasia Glow Kit, which I was super excited about, and I got mine in the shade Sun Dipped. And first off, I just love her packaging. I love how it has that nice glittery effect in the background and the nice ombre. And then, of course, on the back, I love how she has this little corner with the names and everything. And then when you open it up, that is what it looks like. Now I don't use these shades too much, but I like these more for eyeshadow looks just because they are a little too dark for my skin tone. But these two I absolutely love. I love more of the champagne-y highlights just because I think they look good on my skin tone. And I think these two are great by themselves, but they are amazing mixed together. 
And the one thing I love about her highlights is they're not greedy filling. They blend so well. They don't emphasize any texture. And I look forward to buying more of her glow kits. So my last favorite for this month is the Kat Von D lipstick in Lolita 2. And I've had this lipstick actually for a really long long time and I just picked it up this month because I just kept pushing it back in my drawer and picking up other lipsticks that I had loved at the moment and just kept using them and forgot all about it and I was actually going through my collection cleaning it out the other day and I saw this and I was like I don't know why I haven't used that yet because it is an absolutely beautiful shade this is what it looks like right here I just love how beautiful it is. I think it's perfect for this time of the year. They are so creamy. It lasted such a long time on my lips without fading too much. And even once it faded, it still gave my lips a nice stain to them to where my lips didn't look funny or kind of break up as it was fading. So all in all, I'm so happy I finally pulled this lipstick out because I feel like I was missing out. All right, so moving on to my favorite part of these videos, which is my music favorites. And I have a few that I want to share with you guys. So my first favorite is Love by Kendrick Lamar. And I don't quite know all of the words just because he sings so fast in it, but I have enjoyed the song so much this month. All right, so my next favorite is by BB Rexa and Florida Georgia Line, which I love, and it is called Meant to Be. We got nothing but time. As long as you ride here next to me, everything's gonna be alright. Won't you ride with me? Ride with me. See where this thing goes. If it's meant to be, it'll be, it'll be. I mean, I'll be so uptight, but my heart's been hurt a couple times by a couple guys that didn't treat me right. All right, you guys, so that is it for my January favorites. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you've tried any of these products, just let me know down in the comments below and what you thought about them. I look forward to trying out more products for you guys next month. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.